Hey guys, it's Kadisha J and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my first year uni experience. I feel like I'm doing this quite late just because I'm going into second year in a couple of months. And I, f I feel like I finished ages ago. So, um, but better late than never, I guess. I'm going to really try and not give you advice in this video. And just tell you about my experience because I'm supposed to be doing another video with advice. And I'm going to talk about things in categories just to keep the video structured. My first category is money. Okay. So... <laughs> When that student finance dropped in my account, <laughs> that first ever student finance payment, <laughs> I felt sweet. I can't like, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I felt sweet as in I got lost in the source. I drowned in it. I, I, I'm missing, gone. Now, um, before I came to uni, I heard a lot of people say, oh, you're going to spend your student finance on alcohol, blah, blah, blah. No, not me. I spent my student finance on clothes and shoes. Um, I remember the first couple of weeks that I was in Leicester, there was a student lock-in, lockdown sale thing where um, basically it was at really late at night and there was a lot of shops that had a very big sale. Uh, that day, well, that night, I bought shoes and a coat. And a couple other things and they weren't cheap so i feel like um i spent foolishly and if i could do it differently i would oh yeah i was screaming overdraft is not your friend of ev everyone to every anyone that came up to me and even mentioned the o word i was like mm -mm, not me overdraft is not your friend because what it does is it just it will pull you in it pulls you in and sucks you in and i was screaming it to everyone and at the last hurdle the last hurdle i joined the overdraft gang yeah not not a proud not a proud moment in my life because i was i was so against over like <laughs> yeah i'm just me being me i'm so against overdrafts but um yeah join the gang not proud but um yeah i will be giving advice on how to avoid going into overdraft and other stuff in my other videos so stay tuned the next category i have is 9 a.m's <laughs> ah how many 9 a.m's did i miss really and truly i'm not gonna lie to any of you as a lot of my mm, um, I had there were quite a few early morning starts and some mornings I rolled over I looked at the time saw the time kissed my teeth and just went back to bed <laughs> as in 9am's 9, 9 for me yeah, they were deep I couldn't I couldn't make it I, my body my mind was telling me yes but my body was telling me no <laughs> so um yeah i missed a lot of 9 a.m's or early morning starts um it's either i go i wouldn't miss the whole day though i go in for my second lesson or um yeah not going at all so i lied but um i tried to i tried to attend as many as possible i tried my hardest as in, I tried to go to bed early, but it wouldn't work. So, um, yeah, that that's my 9 a.m.s. I wasn't as dedicated as I should have been. I really, I, I really wasn't as dedicated as I should have been. As in, 70%, 82, 5, 93% of the time, I was like, Okay, so I didn't catch that slide. I'm actually paying 9k for this. Let me just hold this out. Essay is due in 24 hours. That gives me 20 to procrastinate. That was what was going through my mind. 96% of the time. 
that was there so um as my year went on i just became less dedicated because as in i started thinking am i going into second year is uni worth it should i go into second year um yeah but i'm i'm going into second year pushing through it whatever happens happens i'm just trying to go with the flow so far freshers week huh freshers week so um our freshers week our freshers mm, the freshers week in leicester didn't actually last a week it lasted longer than a week because i remember i moved into philbert on the 23rd or the 24th i think it was the 24th and i didn't start uni until like october 2nd or 4th or 3rd or something in october so my freshers week was freshers two weeks so um yeah Ask me how long I survived. Did I survive the whole week? Did I survive the whole week? Did I survive the whole two weeks? No. I survived three days. Three, three days as in I loved my bed so much that I, I spent freshest week in my bed. Did I meet new people? No. Well, hmm. Not going in, not through freshers week, no. I didn't meet new people apart from my flatmates i just i just spent I, I went out for three days and i thought you know what that's it that's enough i can't i can't i'm not nocturnal i'm not active during the night and sleep during the day i like my bed i like my sleep i'm sorry like um freshers the whole freshers week the first freshers day party was the first party i had ever been to the first party motive event rave club whatever you want to call it it's the first one i had ever been to so i feel like i got thrown in the deep end i feel like i got thrown in the deep end so badly so that's why it only lasted three days i could i couldn't I, I wanted to sleep i was in there and i wanted to fall asleep so i don't really think that life is for me <laughs> I love my bed too much. I said I fall asleep at 10. Once I'm out, I'm out. So yeah, Freshers Week was hmm. Freshers Week was interesting. It was fun. Um there was a lot of good events. A lot. Um didn't go to them all, but yeah, they were they were they they were, right. they were good. There was one, oh no manners. If you know, you know. No manners, Freshers Week. Lit. Um, yeah, so that was my freshers week. Well, freshers days, three days to be exact. Exams, revision, and assignments. So, um, in my course, I didn't have any exams, which is so good because I'm not academic at all. No bone in my body. Okay, there's there's one bone in my body that says maths because I love maths. But apart from that, I'm not academic. I'm not an academic person as in I hate I hate English I hate reading re reading see I can't even speak English I hate reading I hate writing I hate English I like when my my last exam in English when I got GCSE I cried because I was so happy that I didn't have to take it again so me and writing based subjects I don't know which is why I do performing arts because there is minimal writing even though there are some essays and there's some assignments but I can handle it, kind of. I try, you know, try my best. What can I do? With my essays, I left a lot of them till the last minute and, and yeah. As in one of them, um, I done the day before, as in I just spent a whole day doing it. Another one, um, I finished two minutes before the deadline, as in our deadline is normally 11.59 p.m. I finished two minutes before if my computer had crashed if the internet wasn't working if it had slowed down it wouldn't have got marked so I, I was really playing um one me and my friend we stayed up um all night we didn't know all night or because our, our 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 essay was due in on the next day so we, we stayed up all night in the library 
listening to music, pushing each other through. And we, we ended up finishing it. It took a long time. It took a lot of effort. A lot. But, you know, we did it. My course is practical. I've got a lot of practical lessons. So um, we do a lot of performances for our assignments. And with me, I feel more comfortable performing than writing an essay. So, um, yeah, my practical assignments were a breeze as in the day of the thing would come and i well, i wouldn't really feel nervous i'd just be like yeah let's get this over and done with so i can move on to second year because you know first year is looking a bit long moving in huh moving in <sighs> moving in to filbert might i add so driving up to filbert I hadn't seen it and none of my family that came to move me in had seen it. Driving up to Filbert, um, yeah, when I first saw it I thought, I'm in Leicester, I'm in London. So driving up to Filbert now and um, I'm kind of like, if I find a picture then I will insert it here. but um around this you're coming up to Filbert there's a whole a whole thing of graffiti and then Filbert itself from the outside just looks like estates it just look like, like the blocks estates that's it that's all I can describe it as so um yeah I remember <laughs> uh my family was too impressed <laughs> with, with, with with Filbert but um yeah i'd have to live there so um we got there really early because we wanted to put my stuff in and then they wanted to get out and um do whatever we had to do for the day and then go back well they'd go back to london we had a lot of help putting taking my stuff up to my room when i tell you i had a lot of stuff not even had i have i have a lot of stuff i feel like I carried my whole life with me when I, I didn't I didn't need to because when I'm going from Leicester to London and back again I'm still carrying my whole life with me so I should have just left half of my life in Leicester and half of it in London but um yeah the amount of stuff that I carried I didn't need to carry that amount of stuff I mean there's still stuff that I have here now that have I touched once since I got here I got into my room and my room was looking big I was like yes and this is this is me this is fine as long as my room is big i can i can breathe i can i can live in here um so my family just put my stuff in my room and then we went shopping and then they left left me alone in this new new place all i could think was my mum actually left me in this place at first i was really homesick as in i didn't eat properly for a a month <laughs> I was so homesick I did not eat properly for a month there's a feeling right here in my stomach I was just like oh, I want to go home my first night in Filbert I spent a, a lot of the time of my first night talking to my best friend on FaceTime deep in that he let me go as well I wasn't settling in as quickly as I thought I would so um yeah i didn't actually think that i would be homesick so the homesickness came um it, it came as a surprise to me my first night i met my flatmates let me just explain this i had four other people that i was living with and i'm only talking about three of them because one of them was actually really nice but when i'm whenever i'm referring to these flatmates i'm only referring to three people not four three so um yeah these guys they, they seem nice yeah on that first night first week first 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 month you know but as soon as it got to about november but just before christmas you know people started to show their true colors i mean yeah met my flatmates on that night and they they seemed nice that's all i could that's that's all i can say if you don't have if you don't have anything nice to say try not to say that much in it i can't not say nothing at all but try not to say that much 
so yeah they seem nice i got to know some people outside of my flat slowly um but yeah like moving in was all right my first couple of months i started to settle in started to see new people i met aj if you don't know will tell you because uh, the story of how me and aj met is an extremely funny one and yeah we'll we'll just we'll just need to tell you we'll make a video of how we met because this girl this girl mm. i think that was all for my moving in day slash the first couple months living in philbert philbert is a very interesting place i have to add <laughs> philbert is a very interesting place mm. that was the video and yeah i think i'm done um make sure you like comment and subscribe um if you're if you're going into university comment below if you're in university comment below tell me your experience has anything interesting happened to you during first year that's the question of the video has anything interesting happened to you in first year um yeah so remember guys positive mind positive vibes positive life bye guys